Here's an update on my pear tree. In the video I made last, I showed you how I removed that large middle trunk branch. You can see that branch there, that large trunk. That was the main leader in the middle of the tree, so it's more open vase. You can see those little tiny branches coming out from the middle of that, but the tree has done well. Um, we took off a few of the upper branches as we were pruning, as, as we were harvesting some of our pears in the fall. We usually don't prune in the fall, but this fall we did do a little bit of pruning just because we we needed to in order to get to the pears that were at the top of the tree. And then there was also a branch or two down here that were in the way that we decided to prune even in the fall. Um, and that, that little branch down there we're gonna take off. I'm just letting the kids hang on it as a little uh, feature for the kids to do pull ups and swing around on. So I, I'm gonna eventually remove that lower branch though. So anyway, the tree's looking good overall. It's got a, still got a good open vase structure to it. Um, we kind of have some limitations in our backyard as to how much space we have um, because we have this large trampoline with the uh, the net enclosure that we have to move around the tree. So I have to prune some of the branches in order to be able to move this trampoline around in our backyard. So like I talked about in one of my other videos, sometimes you've got to prune the trees in a way that allows you to function in your backyard properly. And we don't have a very big backyard. It's enough space for for having some fruit trees, but not enough space to let them grow as big as they could possibly be. So we have to make enough space and prune them back a little bit. And our uh, peach tree is doing great. It's growing fast. I have a video I'm gonna make about the boring insects that have attacked our fruit, tr our pear, or sorry, our, our peach tree, but it's growing quickly. Hopefully it can survive the, the uh, moth insect attacked. Um, so we'll give you an update on that later, but just wanted to let you know this is looking like one year after so I, the, the video I made was from 2019 and this is December 2020 so it's a full growing season after the other video that I made um, and so the, the tree's doing well um, after taking off that central trunk and then here's the apple tree um, and we again we had to prune off a little bit of it this fall because the the weight of the apples we had a ton of apples this past fall and so the weight of the apples is making a lot of large branches bend way down and into the way of the yard. So we had to prune off some of the branches that were in the way of moving about through the yard. Even in the fall, we had to do a little bit of pruning at right at the time of harvest, even though that's not the ideal time to prune. We just had to prune some of those branches because they were getting in the way of the yard. But anyway, the apple tree is doing great. Um, so I want to let you know how it looks. So it's December 2020 and the last videos that I made uh, were from footage that I had filmed back in March of 2019, so about a year ago. So anyway, trees doing great.